Ronnie the King Coleman is one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. Winning eight consecutive Mr. Olympia titles and becoming an icon. However, after pictures of Ronnie in a wheelchair started to circulate, it began to look as though this status had cost him more than anyone could have imagined. Ronnie Dean Coleman was born on May 13th, 1964 in Monroe, Louisiana. Even from the age of 16, Ronnie's godly genetics have been apparent, with this photo being taken in 1980. Coleman began lifting weights at age 13, continuing through high school, and his days as middle linebacker for Eddie Robinson's Grambling teams. Although he graduated from college with a degree in accounting, he was not able to make it in the field and turned to pizza delivery. He was so poor that during this time, every day he would need to eat the free pizza from his work. In 1989, in the search for more money and a better career, he became a police officer. By this time, Ronnie was already an absolute beast, but a friend he made while in the force would allow him to change his life's trajectory. His friend invited him to the Metroflex gym, owned by amateur bodybuilder Brian Dobson. Brian offered Ronnie a free membership to the gym if Ronnie allowed Brian to train him for the 1990 Texas Bodybuilding Show. As they say, the rest is history. Your first place winner is this small guy down here on the end, Mr. Ronnie Coleman. After Ronnie won his first official show, he attended more and more shows, earning his pro card in the same year. Ronnie was just 26 and knew he had the world at his feet. His work ethic shone through, as all during this time he was still an on-duty police officer and would keep the job role from 1989 all the way until 2003. I enjoy it a lot. It's never a day that I don't look forward to going to work. Could you imagine being a criminal and having this absolute mass monster chasing behind you on the motorbike? Out of power. His reputation was growing and growing, winning regional competitions and even competing in powerlifting shows. Despite the success in local shows and his fulfilling job role, Ronnie knew he wanted more and was eyeing down the greatest achievement a man can get within bodybuilding. LeBron, oh, they just announced number two. So number one, and for the seventh time, seven straight years, Lee Haney is Mr. Olympia. To win a Mr. Olympia trophy is to be at the top of your peers, the peak of your bodybuilding career. It's a trophy won by past greats such as Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lee Haney. Many people dream of winning just one of these trophies or even just to compete, but to win the title eight times in a row, that's almost unheard of until Ronnie stepped up to the plate. <laughs> but he wouldn't have instant success. In Ronnie's first Mr. Olympia in 1992, he was not even ranked. So he tried again in 1994, where he would place 15th. Then in the following three years, he would place 10th, 6th and 9th respectively. Ronnie was frustrated, but nowhere near enough to give up. In 1998, the year after Dorian Yates had just won his 7th title, Ronnie was coming in as an underdog behind 4 other contestants. Ronnie came to the show with massive improvements from the year before, once again showing his unmatched work rate and most importantly showing that he puts his heart and soul into his craft. Ronnie was up against Flex Wheeler in the final of the 1998 Mr. Olympia. One of the these men goes home with a second place $50,000 check. The other man goes home with the 10th Mr. Olympia contest title and a $110,000 check. In second place. Flex Wheeler. Ronnie had won, however, he wouldn't be satisfied with this one though, and he would go on to win seven more, tying Lee Haney with the most amount won consecutively. This success, however, would come at a price. Ronnie is known for his Olympia wins, his iconic voice and phrases. Yeah, buddy! 
Wait, wait! And his seriously heavy lifts. He is one of the strongest bodybuilders of all time, and it's no surprise. His brutal squatting program, however, would cause Ronnie injuries which would change his life. As he was squatting so much weight, 800 pounds at one point to be precise, he would cause himself to suffer multiple herniated discs in his spine, in particular his neck and lower back. His first surgery would come after his first disc herniation. There was a loud crunching sound. It sounded almost like a gunshot had went off. Ronnie, despite being in pain, carried on lifting with his herniated discs, which in the medical industry is known as a bad idea. But you know, the athlete in you is like, you know, let's, let's go on, finish, let's finish this up. <laughs> <laughs> For those unaware of just how serious a herniated disc can be and the problems it can cause, the NHS have listed problems which can be caused by a slipped disc. Numbness in your body, incontinence, muscle weakness, and losing feeling in your legs. If left untreated, it can lead to paralysis or permanent nerve damage. Eventually, Ronnie had the corrective surgery needed for this injury. And after this surgery in 2007, he said he felt good and went back to lifting as normal. I was, I was good for a while. You know, I went back to squatting and everything. And Which is one of the biggest mistakes Ronnie would ever make. After a year or two, he would have back issues yet again and in the same area. He underwent the same sort of surgery again and Ronnie says it all went downhill from here. The first time you herniate a disc, the chances of getting another herniated disc are significantly increased, which is exactly what happened to him, with discs popping out by themselves. I think like the first time you herniate a disc, it's like you, you stack a bunch of cans on top of each other and you snap one out. Well, after a while, the other one's gonna start falling out of place too. Despite these injuries, Ronnie ignored surgeon's pleas to stop working out and carried on. He has had so many of these surgeries on his back that his whole spine is pretty much fused together in one solid structure. On top of these back surgeries, he has a lot of hardware inside of his back and neck now. He has cages, screws and rods keeping his body together. Due to the damage to his spine, he's also had to have two entire hip replacements. All of this hardware causes Ronnie severe pain due to the pressure on the nerves in his back. All the hardware is with, with your nerves. Yeah, yeah, all the hardware, yeah, is pinching on the nerves. And because of all this, it's not looking likely he will ever walk unassisted again. There has been an outpouring of sympathy for Ronnie in the bodybuilding world. However, Ronnie says he doesn't regret this. He is a natural born athlete and winner. He knew this is what the price could be. And he said if he had the opportunity, he would do it all again. This is what separates Ronnie from the rest. He has an insatiable desire to train, compete and win. And this is the reason we will never get another Ronnie Coleman again. You know, when you're doing something that you truly love, enjoy and doing, that's what you look forward to doing all the time. So really- Regardless the of, you know, how you feel, you know. Of course, I'm still in pain and all that kind of stuff, but. Are you in pain all the time? Yeah, but as long as I'm doing what I love doing, I'm okay. 